Hello, this is Nick from Review Outlaw. Today I'm going to go over how to install latticework. As you can see here, we have it started uh, in the front and we picked the latticework up at Lowe's. Uh, when you get the latticework, I recommend just getting the 4x8 sheets. They have the half sheets and things like that also, but um, it's better just to get the 4x8 sheets. Um, also, when you get the latticework, make sure you don't forget these little corner moldings here. It's going to cover up nice uh, your bottom and your sides. And then they also sell these little corner pieces that will let you connect two pieces of lattice work together. So one of the harder things is trying to figure out, especially when you have uneven land and things like that, uh, how to cut around certain objects um, and get your angles right. So let's do that right here. So now we have the next section here that we're going to want. Um, so what we know is an eight foot section right here. So we're going to go to the starting length and the ending length. So we're going to go down here. So the starting length is about 36. We don't have to be exactly accurate. And then we go eight feet away, which is about right here. And you get the ending length which is about 30. Okay. Yeah, 29 and a half. So, uh, 36 on one end, 29 and a half on the other. Let me get a mark here, 36, I've already marked it. And then on this side, we're gonna go 29 and a half. Now, any objects that are sticking out, like that concrete, I'm just gonna mark this first and we'll worry about those other objects later. So then you're going to need a semi-straight piece here. If you have a level, that's great. If not, you can use one of your ends. And we're going to draw a line from point A to point B. Now, it's not going to be perfect. You might have to go back and trim some off. But this is going to give you a good idea of um, what you're going to need to trim off. If you're trying to, to do too many things at once with the cutting, it gets very confusing. So I do not recommend confusing yourself and just keep it simple. Two cuts, two measurements and one cut at a time. And it'll go be very quick to cut. Now, on this here, you're gonna wanna put it near an edge. Uh, if this flaps too much, it just shatters into a million pieces. Use a regular Larry saw and just a finished blade or construction blade on here right now is what I have. So you're gonna go down. You can hold this safety guard up. All right. So now we have the piece cut. So I should go this way here. All right. See how this fits. And it's a little tight some spots, but that's okay to have it tight. Um, better That way we can cut some more off. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to trace around this and just give myself space over here. And these rocks can be moved out. And uh, it's looking pretty good. So we'll get the next piece attached and uh, give you an update on that.